We're at Taco Cabana and welcome to our great house vlog. We are gonna eat and then we're gonna go to the sale place on Elam Road and I'll show you guys around there. And then we're gonna go to an open house and see if we can't find a house for Kennedy. So the only person here right now is Martin. I need some stuff, so. I've been talking to y'all for a couple minutes and it wasn't recording. So I'm in a parking lot about to park and I haven't had a chance to film and here's why. So we got up and we didn't make it to church, blah, blah, blah. We decided we were gonna go eat at Taco Cabana because we were gonna go to the sale place. Now the sale place is kind of a hard place to explain what it is, but basically we're about to go over a bump, sorry. Basically the sale place is a place where you can get artificial flowers, you can get ribbons, you can get wedding decor supply stuff, and it's super inexpensive and a lot of people go there. So Carrie has to make, for senior night, they have to make some dec dec decorations or something on the at the field, at the ball field, because it's senior night and they're gonna be recognized and whatnot. And so they have to like put ribbons up and they have to put stuff like that. So we were gonna go to the sale place. So went to eat a Taco Cabana, it was yummy. And then we went to the sale place and it's closed. But right next door to it is a thrift shop and Kennedy, I guess hasn't been in in a while. I haven't been in that one in, uh, in a while either. So we went inside, they've changed some stuff around and we just looked around. There was nothing really of interest that I wanted. So then we're like, okay, let's go to the open house. So we went to the open house. The house was cute and uh, my granddaughter didn't like it. So she's not gonna make an offer on it, which is fine. You don't, I mean, you know, we just, it was the first house we looked at officially as realtor and client. So now I have a even better idea of what she's looking for so that I can kind of fine tune the search just a little bit more. And then uh, we came home and Marvin and I got gas and I went to Walgreens and now I'm gonna run inside to Tom Thumb, or at least that's what I was gonna do, but it's like super crowded. So I'm not really into lines right now, so I'm just gonna go home. But I'm gonna call Marvin and see where he is and how long he's gonna be, because if he's gonna be a bit, then I'm gonna go ahead and go inside. Because you know, he's not home anyway, but. Anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna call him. There was nothing to film at the sale place because it was closed and we were only in the, the thrift store for like a hot minute. And speaking of, this has nothing to do with what I was just speaking of, but I was thinking hot minute and how you used to have to pay for minutes when you had your cell phone. And then that reminded me, we've already used 75% of our data and we still have like two weeks left on the phone. So we're for sure gonna go over data this month. And so then I'm looking to see who's going over data and it's Nick which is fine, but um, it just puts us over data. And every time I've gone in to talk about data, they're like, you really probably don't want to change your plan because you're on a grandfathered plan and it's a better plan, blah, blah, blah. So uh, we're not gonna change your plan. I'm gonna call Marvin right now just to see how long he's gonna be and just to make sure we don't need something for the house. I mean, for the house, for dinner or such as that. Hello? Hey, uh, you still at O'Reilly's? No, I'm home. Oh, okay. I'll head home too. Love you. Love you. I was going to go to Tom Thumb, but uh, it's crowded and I thought, well, if he's still at O'Reilly's, then I'll go to Tom Thumb. But if you're home, I'll come home. I love you. All right. Love you. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, so, so let's go home. <laughs> it's 11.52 p.m. on a Sunday night. And my goal to get this clean did not happen. But that's okay because I almost got it clean. So I'm actually going to put this in the office right now. This is something, it's an address change. It's also the information about our final, um, final expenses, our funeral arrangements. And we had had some questions before we moved. Like, did they have the right information? We thought we had plan whatever, and they don't have us down for having that plan. So we're gonna get that. We need to look at that. But I have company coming Wednesday, my daughter Anna and her husband Christian. So I'm not gonna be able to focus on it the next couple days. Then over here, I have some bins. 
So this bin is the one that has all, or was holding all the Easter decor. And it actually did not need to be that big of a bin. So probably just gonna buy a little bit smaller one to fit everything. Because again, I'm not trying to just add to the stuff. I'm trying to keep everything minimalist. And then this one is just a bag I have to empty out. This is garage sale stuff, I think. No, no, you know what that is? That's stuff that it goes in the garage because it goes to different holiday bins. Like there's some Halloween stuff or fall stuff in there. There's some Christmas stuff in there. So it doesn't belong in the other places that I found it. So I'm trying to organize that as well. And this stuff is just paperwork I'm putting away right now. And I'll put this away in the next, if I don't finish it tonight, I'll just do it in the morning. Um, I'm a little bit tired and I'm starting to get, ooh, and I need to go to bed. So today didn't go, what well, it went as planned, sort of. We didn't go to church, which was our plan, but then we did go, we met Carrie and Gavin and Bradley and Kennedy, which was not our plan. But then we met up for the open house, which was our plan, but she didn't like the house. I thought she was gonna like the house, but she didn't like the house. And that's okay, we'll, we'll find something she does like. Oh, I also have to clean up this mess. It's like I take two steps forward and 12 steps back. <laughs> so it's just like paperwork and stuff that like, I'm just sorting through, like do I keep it? Do I need it? Um, I've obviously put a big chunk in the shred slash recycle pile. So my, my intention now is, and I'm saying it so you guys can hold me accountable. So my intention going forward, I don't have a prop to prop this on, is what comes in this day, like tomorrow, Monday, I will address and I'll try to make a dent on the other stuff. But as it comes in going forward, I'm going to try to address it, whether it be emails, um, mail or whatever. And then I'll start to attack some of the stuff that I've got just sitting in piles. Some of the stuff is just like stuff that should be filed away. It's like insurance papers or, or warranty information or something like that. So it's just stuff that needs to be filed away, but some of the stuff's just junk. I don't know, things, things I'll look at later. No, I'm not gonna look at it later. So anyway, I spent a lot of time today also sorting through some photos in an effort to, well, one of the reasons was to free up some space on my computer, but also because I just have a lot of photos like, oh, I'll take a screenshot of this and then I'm gonna look at it later and then I forget. So um, I did some organizing there. So that was virtual organizing, cyber organizing, which you can't really see the effects of it, but it happened and it was awesome. I got a lot done, I got a lot done. So I'm gonna go to bed now and I hope you guys had a great day. Sorry this was a, such a short vlog, but some days are like that. It's just not a whole lot happens that, um, I guess I don't, I don't like to film too much when family's here, but I'm gonna be filming when Anna's here. She knows I film, but the others, I don't know. Sometimes it feels just like it's invading on our time and I like to have solid family time. So I know you guys understand, but I hope you have a great night. Be kind to others and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.